Hey, to breaking news now, and we are hearing from the firefighters battling this house fire in Peoria, and they're telling us nothing but charred rubble is left. Right now, crews are saying this is a hoarding case at the home near 75th Avenue in Peoria. That's where we find ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez. And Mary Ellen, I'm hearing that you just spoke with one firefighter who was trapped in this. What exactly happened? There were the first crew, which had uh, four firefighters, actually went into this home that you see right behind me. Firefighters right now are trying to wrap things up, but we understand investigators are going to be here for quite a while now. The first crew that went into this home were four firefighters, and two of them found themselves trapped with all of the debris. Listen to what it was like when he first entered that home. Came in through the front door, and then uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff in the front, uh, a lot of debris. A lot of furniture and everything like that. And it seemed like the attics were pretty packed because there's a lot of stuff falling from the attics. Now that, of course, added to the fuel. So when we first arrived, we found actually them spraying down one of these firefighters that looked like the arm of his jacket had actually caught fire. Now, from what we understand, these firefighters entered this home, and, and this home was just full of debris, full with books and, and some type of record, vinyl record collection from floor to ceiling. And they felt like, as you heard, the attic was actually full. And so they had a lot of stuff falling on top of them, including a shelf. It did kind of pin us a little bit. Uh, just kind of wiggle your way out. You kind of got to kick some things over, uh, you know, break a few shelves, and then just kind of wiggled out. I'm not exactly a big guy, so it's pretty easy for me. Um, just kind of made my way back, follow the hose line back, because that's always out. Now, no one was home at the time, but there were three pets that were trapped inside. A quick thinking neighbor before firefighters arrived actually went in and rescued those three dogs that you see there. We have an interview with that neighbor. We're going to air it for you at 630. So stay with us as he talks about what it was like to actually enter that home. Katie? Yeah, well, from uh, your video there, it was easy to see kind of what the firefighters were up against. So incredible stuff. We'll see you a little bit later in our newscast. Mary Ellen, thank you.